Welcome guys, what's up? We're in for a good TBC, which means total body conditioning class. But I just want to remind everybody, don't forget to like and subscribe to the Club at Adaro YouTube channel. And check out the Club at Adaro website at www.clubatadaro.com. Okay. So I'd like to start off today with just a simple warm-up. So we're going to start step touching. We're just going to get right to it. And we're going to start warming up those biceps. Yep. And I want you to take those arms on the diagonal. Continue to warm up those biceps. Do it one more. And three. And two. And one. And then you're just going to start warming up the back of those legs again. Warming up those hamstrings. Inhale, exhale. We have four more. Three, two, and one. And now I just want you to step touch, just step touch, and just reach up and across. Warming up those shoulders a little bit. Four, and three, two, and one. Now I'm going to take it up a little higher for four, and three, two, and one. And now I'm just going to hold it still for four, and three, and two, and one. And now circle out nice big circles as you warm up those shoulders. Inhale, exhale, pull back. Four more. Three more. Two, and one. So let's take it here, open up. Open up, really open up that whole shoulder. Inhale, exhale. Good. We have four more. And three. And two. And one. Good. I want you to warm up that torso. Just twist the torso a little bit. Just kind of warming up that core. We have three more. Two. And nice. Inhale one more time. And I want you to do a nice side bend. So take that right hand and come across, really stretch it through. Let's take that other hand around and come up to center. Inhale, exhale, reach. And then release. So open those legs nice and wide. We're gonna go over to the right, stretching on the inside thigh. Inhale, exhale, and switch up. Inhale, exhale. One more time each side. Good. And I want you to stay here because we're going to go down. We're going to really stretch the back of those legs. Just take your hands towards your ankles if you can. Remember, pull in your core. Try to bring your hands down flat. If you can't do that, bend your knees. So we're going to come up one vertebrae at a time, really slow, pulling in those abs. Inhale, exhale, and up. And stretch. Take those hands behind you. I want you to warm up that chest because we are working the chest today. And to get in front and straight up. Good. I want you to take your right foot behind you. And I want you to bend that left knee and lean in. So you're, you're staggering your feet a little bit, but the back heel on that right is flat. So really stretching out those calves a little bit, the flexors a little bit. Let's switch it up. Really lean in now to that right knee. Shoulders down, chest out. Inhale, exhale. Good, and one more time. Inhale up. Good. So I'm gonna start with a ball today. You don't have to be on the ball. You can do this standing. I just wanna utilize the ball. Again, this is something else that you can take on loan. You can come to the club and borrow the balls, take them home if you need it, okay? It's a really good tool. It really helps you work your core a little bit more. So I'm gonna go ahead and sit on the ball. And remember, the wider the stance on the ball, the, the stronger your foundation, the closer your feet together, you have to work that core a little harder. So we're gonna start, I'm gonna grab my heavier weights to start with. And we're gonna warm up those shoulders, okay? So what I want you to do, is bringing the weights all the way down, pulling in that core, and then you're gonna do an inside press. And then you're gonna take it down and up. Yes. Inhale, exhale. 
Remember, if you're standing, you're pulling your core, coming all the way down. Good. Inhale, exhale. Now hold your breath. Good. We have six more. And five. And four. Last three. Good work. Last two. One more. And release. Good. So all I want you to do is bring those weights to your shoulders. Sit up nice and tall. If you're standing, really pulling your abs. We're just going to take the right hand up and release. Left hand up and release. Breathe. Good. Up. Press up. Up. Good. Inhale, exhale. We have six more. Five. Four more. Three. Two. And one. Good. So I want you to bring your feet together. So you're going to use your core a little bit more. So we're going to take our hands face up, all right? So your palms are facing the ceilings and you're really pulling in your core. If you're standing, pull in your core. We're going to inhale, exhale. I want you to reach out and pull in. Close the elbows back. Reach out, pull in. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. This really gets deep into the biceps. We have four more. Three more. Last two. One more. And release. So the good thing about them all is you get to, in between, just kind of bounce it out, kind of resets that spine. Kind of loosens everything up too. So it feels pretty good. So we have one more set. So go ahead and bring your feet together, knees together. Keep it all nice and tight. Let's do one more set. You want to hand me that tray. Pull back on those elbows. So you inhale out, exhale. This is three. And four. And five. And six. Seven. Five more. Three more. Last two. One more, and release, good. So I'm gonna drop the heavy weight just for a moment, grab the lighter weight, because I want us to do a really wide, what they call lateral raise. So if you're standing, your weights are long, you're gonna take a nice inhale as you exhale, you're gonna come up, elbows are slightly bent, you bring it into the center, and then down. Inhale up, exhale out, and down. Inhale, exhale. This gets the whole shoulder joint. Inhale, exhale. This is a great combo move. It's a lateral raise and then a front raise. And down. Keep those elbows slightly bent. Take all the pressure off those joints as much as you can. Breathe, inhale, exhale. We have four more. Three more. Last two. One more. And release, good. So I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna stand with the ball and I bring the ball right inside my thigh. So if I squeeze that ball, I'm working my inner thigh too, which engages my core, right? So if you don't have the ball, you're gonna be right here, knee slightly flexed, and we're gonna do an upright row. So we're gonna inhale, exhale, come up, lead with those elbows. All the while, I'm squeezing that ball. This is three, four, five, six, Six to go. Five more. Four more. Last three. Last two. One more. Now what I want to do is I want to reach the rear, the, the rear delts. So I'm going to have to bend over at least 90 degrees here. 
And if you don't have the ball, obviously I want you to have nice wide feet, but I want you to flex from your hips, come over. We're gonna inhale, exhale, take it up for 12, 11, I'm still squeezing that ball, 10, nine, eight, seven, and six, and five, and four, last three, last two, one more, and release, good. So we're gonna come back onto the ball, and I'm gonna bounce it out just a little bit just to reset that spine. So I want you to work that rotator cuff. So you're gonna bring your arms 90 degrees. Don't grip those weights, just release. So we're just gonna take it back. So we're gonna inhale, exhale, go back. Pull your shoulder blades together. And then come here, inhale, exhale. This is three. And four. And five. And six. Seven, we have five more, we can do it. Five, and four, three, and two, and one, good work. So, what I'd like us to do now is I'd like us to work the chest on the ball. If you don't have the ball, you're just gonna come down to the mat and work that chest. So I'm gonna have to roll out so what I do is I anchor my weights and I roll back. And what I like to do is keep my head in line with my spine. So it's so important when you're on the ball that your head is not dropping back. You want to look directly up to the ceiling here. Bring them nice wide arms, work that chest. And I want you to squeeze your glutes to protect your lower back. We're gonna inhale, exhale, we're gonna come up and we're gonna twist at the top to really work those pecs a little harder. And then down. Inhale, exhale, up. And then this is three. And four. And five. Six. Seven and eight and nine and ten, and eleven and twelve. You're gonna drop those weights just below your hips, hold them in, don't have to hold them tight. We're gonna do what we call a hip bridge. We're gonna release down and then squeeze on the way up. Release down, squeeze up. Inhale, exhale, squeeze. We're going in for four. And five. And six. Six more. Five more. Four. Last three. Last two. One more. Good. I want you to grab those weights. Come up. And we're going to bounce it out just a little bit. So we're going to work the lower half a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and place the ball on my rein. So secure there. And stay right in your center. So I'm going to reach, I'm going to lunge out here. I'm going to keep my weight on my left hip. I'm going to lunge out here, and then I'm going to roll back and come in. So we're doing a row here with a lunge. This is three. And four. Six. We have six to go. Five to go. Four more. Last three. Last two. One more. And good. Let's anchor that right. So now we need the opposite. 
I'm going to lunge out on the left, I mean, sorry, on the right, and pull back the drop. This is 12. Whoops. 11. And 10. Eight, seven, and six, and five, and four, last three, last two, five more, and release, good. So we're gonna come down into what they call a bug. And I want all your weights in your heels and, and your glutes. Nothing on your knees whatsoever. Bring both of those elbows up. We're going to inhale, exhale. We're going to do an extension of those triceps with a lunge back. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, and 12. So I'm going to grab the ball. I'm going to come back on the ball because I want to work my triceps with an inside press. And again, you don't need this ball. You can just be on your mat. So I'm going to roll out. So my head is positioned on the ball. And I'm going to take it straight up. Again, I'm squeezing my glutes, protect my back. I'm gonna come down, we call these skull crushers, and then I'm gonna wrap over straight in, and then straight up. This is two, and three, and four, and five, Six and seven, breathe eight and nine. This is ten, and then really works those triceps. This is eleven, one more, and release. Good. I'm gonna drop one weight. We're going to do what we call a lap pullover. So you want that weight as far away from you as you can get it. You really want to engage those lats. You want to inhale, exhale, pull all the way down. Inhale out, exhale back. Inhale out, exhale back. This is four. This is five. This is six. Now I'm going to combine this with a crunch. This is seven. And eight. Nine. Ten. Two more. One more. And release. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that weight straight up. I'm going to work my obliques a little bit. I'm going to keep the weight in my right hand. I'm going to lower out. So all my weight is shifting on right. Really works in here. Come up. This is one. Inhale, exhale. This is two. Inhale, exhale. This is three. And four. And five. Seven and eight and nine and ten. Two more. Hang in there, guys. One more. And release. Let's switch hands. Bring that hand up all the way towards the ceiling and come on out. We're twelve. Eight. 
two, and one. Good work. Take that ball underneath your knees one more time. Pull the ball right up to your boots. And then you're just going to jump and rock side to side. This is a great lower back stretch, but it works a little weak. I can feel I'm really engaging as I take that ball side to side. Pulling in that needle for four, and three, and two, and one. Good. So I'm going to push the ball out and come up to a nice standing position. And put the ball right back on there. So I want you to stand up for me, nice and strong. And we're going to go ahead and take a nice inhale up. And we're going to exhale. I want you to go down with the top of forward fold, stretching the back of your legs. So we're trying to reach your hands to the mat or the carpet. So if you have to bend your knees, bend your knees. This is fine. I'd rather have you bend your knees so your, your hands are flat. And then you're going to take both of your hands to your right ankle. And then take both of your hands to your left ankle. And then back to center. This really stretches the back of your legs, your lower back. So bend your knees, come up nice and slow. Inhale and exhale all the way up, all the way. Inhale, exhale. So I'm going to grab the ball. And I'm just going to show you a few little exercises to stretch with the ball. So you have your hands on either side of the ball, take it out nice and strong, maybe not, coming up. So nice and strong, inhale, exhale, take it over to the right. Inhale, exhale, over to the left. We're gonna bring it down to center. We're gonna inhale, exhale, we're gonna pivot. Remember, you're gonna pivot off the ball of your foot so you don't hurt your knee. Inhale, exhale, the other direction. Really gets into that spine. So, I'm going to sit on the ball. So, I want your feet together, knees together. And one more time, inhale up and exhale it out. I want you to roll those shoulders. This will work done. So, four, bigger range of motion, three, two, and one. And I want you to stretch those triceps, biceps. Really stretch them out, stretch them out good. Inhale, exhale. Stretch that chest. I want you to expand that chest, stick it out. And then we're just going to end on that nice torso rock. Nice and strong. Pull on into those abs. We have four more. Three, two, and one. Last time, inhale up for me. Take a deep breath. Exhale it all out. Thank you guys for working out with me. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the Club at Adero, okay, at www.clubatadero.com. Thank you, guys.